These some soup drinking times, I tell you, boy. What boy? Peace and blessings, everybody out there. It's Marcus Anthony, and welcome to Marcus Anthony's Table. So, today, we are going to go into the fundamentals and the recipe for making a split pea soup. And it is split pea, all the vegetables that we need, and the beautiful thing about a soup is it's a soup. You can't mess it up. First things first, chop all your veg. Keep the sizes consistent, not too big, not too small, and put them all in a bowl. This way you can go from a bowl into the pot and not from your board into the pot, which will have your vegetables falling all over the place if you're not careful. The key is to enjoy this process. The preparation process is just as important as the cooking process. Have fun with it. As our pot is on medium heat now, let's add a few tablespoons of olive oil, get that up to temperature, and We'll know we're good when we see that olive oil start to dance. And when I say dance, I mean move and groove on the bottom of the pot. You can smoke coming up. Let's add our garlic. Garlic in. All of it. Give it a stir. Let your garlic and olive oil come together. Give a stir. These are whole cloves, so you have a lot more time before they burn. No rush here. It's garlic and olive oil. They love each other. Add the onions. Season with salt lightly throughout the dish. Continue to season at small steps throughout the dish so that we build flavor throughout. Not all the salt at the beginning, not all the seasoning at the end. Nothing is overly critical here because once all of the vegetables goes in, all of the broth, all of the ingredients goes in, we're gonna cover it turn the heat down and cook it down for about an hour. Everything is gonna be a, a beautiful medley inside this pot. Can't mess it up. Let's go on with our veg. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. Let's start with a little bit. Let the heat interact with all of the vegetables. Let everything get acquainted. And remember, this is a soup, so enjoy the process. Now, I'm gonna start to add our herbs, aromatics, and our pepper right before I add the split peas and then the turmeric. So, let's go in with our bay leaf, our fennel, Our coriander, our thyme, and our cayenne and scotch bonnet. I like things spicy. You can go either or. Sometimes I just go scotch bonnet. Sometimes if I don't have scotch bonnet, go cayenne. And if you have both, have both. I have both available for me today and I'm making quite a big pot, so I'm gonna throw it in there. Actually, it's all gone. Stir it up. So as the flavors get incorporated, one of my favorite things to do is add the peas to the pot now so that we could actually build and develop the flavors around the peas together. At this stage, let's add another powerhouse, turmeric. I'm gonna add three heaping teaspoons of turmeric, which may seem like a lot, but turmeric by itself is actually quite mild. It's a spice that gives curry its yellow color and because of its active compound, curcumin, its health benefits are off the charts good for you anti-inflammation, heart disease prevention, cancer fighting, antioxidant, and it helps brain function. Get it in wherever you can. Our body absorbs turmeric for some reason with black pepper. So, fresh ground black pepper, always with your turmeric. And now, 
we can add our water. Stir. Lid on. It's been about an hour cooking. Let's take a look at it. We see that our peas have become mushy. And that tells you that everything else is mushy because the peas will take the longest time to cook. And we see how all of the flavors in here are together and everything is happy now, right? So the way we finish it or the next step is to blend it. Now, I like a blended soup. It just marries everything together and makes it a beautiful emulsion. And the way that we do that is you take this thing that you probably got at your house warming or, you know, your shower or whatever it is and you have no idea what it is or you never use it or you probably do. The immersion blender. This allows you to just go right into your pot blend your soup and then you take it out and you have a pot of deliciousness. The next step is to taste our food. See where we are. Ooh, hot. full of flavor, but very fresh. Now, remember, we used water. So if we used chicken stock or bone broth or vegetable broth, we would have had the flavor from the broth. We used water, blank palate. So now I want to kick the flavor up in it, and I'm going to choose to use chicken bouillon. I like bouillon. Not everybody does. So I'm going to take this and add chicken flavor to it. And now, you can always add, but you can't take away. So, give it a stir. Rinse off your spoon. Just to take things up another level. At the end of the soups like this, I always like to add a nice pat of butter. It's a huge pot of soup, but this butter is about two, a nice two tablespoons. Adds a bit of luxury. The fat in the butter coats the mouth, gives a better mouth feel when you eat it. So we have all vegetables, we have all plant ingredients, and we take it and we add a little bit of butter, and that just gives it a nice texture, taste, something velvety, smooth. So add some butter, give that another blend. Or stir. Pat of grass-fed butter, delicious butter, never, ever hurt anybody. So now, let's plate this up. Now here is your chance to personalize each bowl for flavor and texture. I have some leftover steamed rice I put that in first. It can be quinoa, couscous, oatmeal, whatever. Next, top that with some vinegar from a jar of pickled peppers I had made. This adds acid to brighten things up. Next, a nice couple ladles of soup. Oh yeah. Follow that with a few dabs of yogurt sauce that I made from yogurt, lemon juice, cilantro, and sour cream. And I finish that off with some sprouts or any fresh herbs that you have. Lastly, a nice drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I hope that you enjoyed cooking this soup with me as much as I enjoyed cooking with you. And these are the simple techniques of how to make a split pea soup. And you could apply this to any soup, whether it's split pea, lentil, red beans, what have you. Use what you have, check your fridge, take stock, Make something delicious, tweak your flavors, play around with it, have fun, know that you're nourishing your mind, your body, soul, you're doing something good for you, for everybody else, you know?
Keep this planet first. Keep people first. Peace and love. I'll see you next time. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Press the bell for notifications so that you can know when I post new videos. And yeah, take care out there. Be safe. Be well. It's delicious.